This is a tutorial for working with custom pages in the Family Cookbook project. There's a couple of ways to get there from your quick start home. You can simply look at the layout and design box and click on custom pages, or you can go to the design center. And then you'll also have custom pages listed there, shortcut. Go ahead and click on that. And that'll take you to the custom page creator tool. We're going to use this tutorial uh, to give you a kind of a get started. Uh, there'll be a more advanced one to watch as well. So once you get the hang of it, take a look at the advanced tutorial. To add a new custom page, simply click the green button, give it a name, make a decision as to whether you'd like to show page numbers or not, and you can change this later. Select the location, uh, for example, up front by the table of contents, back by the notes, behind a divider maybe, or you could just choose none for now while you're working on it. That's what we'll do. And we'll add our custom page. It's been added to the system. Now we just simply click here to edit. Now you're ready to work on your custom page. And if you get called away, no worries. It's always going to be here for editing in the future. Right now it's blank. But if we go back to our custom page manager, you'll see your new custom page is listed. You'll see that it's active, that it's not assigned anywhere, and that you can edit it by clicking the edit button. And here we are back in the editor. So in its basic usage, a custom page is nothing more than a little mini word processor, and you can type all you like. You can make a dedication, You can create a family history, you can add <clears throat> stories, you can add all kinds of pages of different content, family tree information, all through the whole book. But as um, I mentioned, the it, it's basically just a simple word processor that you can format, add some photos, that type of thing. So in this tutorial, that's what I'm going to show you. So I just typed, let's call it a headline, and we'll make it a font style of maybe Century Gothic. We'll make it nice and large so we can see it. We can make it bold. We can center it. And just like every other word processor, it has the icons right across here for everything. Um, you hover over them, they'll let you know what they can do. You can paste, you can paste in text, paste something from a Word document. You can undo, redo, you can search. Um, we'll go through the icons. You can select everything. You can uh, add numbered lists. You can add bullet lists. You can indent and outdent, add quotes. And of course, bold, italic, underline, uh, strike through. You can make subscripts and superscripts. Then of course, most important, left, center, and right justify. You can also fully justify the text, which means both the left and the right columns of a paragraph try to align identically. You can insert a picture. You can create uh, a table of information. This will be in some of the advanced tutorials. You can add a horizontal line. You can put a little fun smiley face or a heart. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other symbols. You can also insert page breaks. Again, that'll be in the advanced tutorial. But then again, you want to choose your font, your size, you can make colors of the text. So if we want to make our family a fun, bright red, we could do that. You can also make the background color. Let's make it gold behind the dedication. Simple to use. When you're ready to save it, you just click Save Changes. And then you can take a look at it. What is this going to look like in my cookbook? You click Preview Page. It's going to pop open a preview for you. And there you are, just as you might expect. Let's also add a photo. That's the other most popular thing everybody does uh, with a custom page. So we'll go to a new line. We'll click to insert a photo image. You can either browse the server to find pictures you've uploaded already, but let's just assume you haven't done anything yet. You'll go to the Upload tab. Choose a file on your computer. I'll go to my pictures. 
I'll come down here and choose a wedding picture of my wife and I, send it to the server. Takes a second to upload. And then we can choose alignment at this point or not. I'll just choose not and click OK. It uploads the picture. And of course, it's nice and big on the page. That may be exactly as we want it, or maybe we want it just a little bit smaller. Just grab the little handle to shrink it down. Save our changes. And now we have a picture with our headline and we can preview this page as it is. And there we go. Now, obviously you've made a custom page. You could add more text, you could add more pictures. We'll talk about that in the advanced tutorial, but it's a fairly simple tool to use and we hope you get a lot out of it. Thanks.